Hi everyone and welcome to your tech tip of the week. In this video we're going to work inside Google Calendar and we're going to talk about how you can easily create a multi-day event when using all-day events in Google Calendar. So an all-day event in Google Calendar is referred to when it's an event that doesn't have a specific start time and a specific end time. It's just something that's going to be happening all day. So for example if it's somebody's birthday or in this case we're going to use the example of a family reunion Union. Now, if you wanted to make an all day event, you can see this bar here at the top of your calendar. You could click inside of the calendar right here at the top and it will create the one thing here and you'd put the title and the time and that would then be an all day event. But let's say you're going to be going to a family reunion and that family reunion is going to span from Thursday all the way to Saturday. Instead of having to go in and put in three all day events, you can easily create a multi day event by clicking clicking here in the top on the day that it begins and then dragging that over to the day that it ends. Now you can see here in the date it says it's going to go from October 17th to October 19th and you can just put in family reunion and then press save and then our family reunion is now an all day event for those three days on our Google Calendar. You can also do this when you're looking at a month view where so if I'm going to change my view here from week to month I can look at my entire calendar and let's say we're going to come back from our family reunion and for the next two weeks after that we're going to be on vacation instead of having to create one event each day we can click into it like we did before and just highlight all the way until our vacation is going to end and you can see here in the time and date section that it says that our vacation is going to span from October 21st to November 1st so we could just type in vacation and press save so we have our vacation here now and now if we make a mistake while we're dragging on our calendar you can simply just press the X and start over or you can just click into the event and trash it and then that will get rid of that event for you. You can also go into the edit event details here and you can change the date in which that event is going to start or end if by any chance you made any sort of mistake. I thought this tip was great because I really am more prone to creating all day events directly on my calendar as opposed to clicking on create and going the longer way. So in this case, it does save me a little bit of time if I'm trying to create an event that is going to span a few days. I hope you like this tip and that you found it useful. Thank you for joining me for your tech tip of the week. Have a great weekend.